about seven or eight years ago, um, Ken McCarthy recommended a book. It's called The 80-20 Principle by Richard Koch. And I bought that book and took it to a coffee shop and I started reading and I got to page 14 and my brain just set on fire. It was like all of a sudden, it was like you ever have one of those moments where a whole bunch of things that you know suddenly snap into place and like bing, 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 it's like a, it's like a whole set of dominoes just goes you know, and falls down. That, that's what it was like for me. And all of a sudden I understood something that I had never understood before. Because mo most people know, like everybody knows what 80-20 is. Everybody knows, yeah, 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 okay, 80% of your business comes from 20% of your customers. That's nice, okay? And what I, what I saw was that there was almost an infinite depth to that. And I'm like, wait, I gotta go try this out. And I had, I had been running a consulting business for about a year at that time. And so, um, you know, I was giving away guerrilla marketing CDs on my website, and I was collecting leads, and I was mailing them out, and, and I was making some sales, and I had some clients, and I, it just with this little business that I had, I started plugging in numbers and I started seeing, wow, this describes the exact business that I already have predictively. And, and, and I saw that 80-20 could not only be a way of looking at things that already have happened, I could also make extremely accurate predictions about the future. And so um, it's, it's it's basically a law of nature. I think it's the most overlooked law of nature. And uh, I'm, I'm just gonna show you a few different things that illustrate it. Um, here is the population of the states in the United States. Um, 36 million in California, 23, uh, 23 million in Texas, 19 million in New York. And, and we, start, we start adding, adding this up and we see that the 80-20 rule is, um, is very reliably true. You have this extreme concentration of population in just a few states, right? Uh, same with counties. You know, out of uh, 300 million people, you look at this, this is, looks like it's probably about 20 million people are in five counties. Now there's thousands and thousands of counties in the United States but there's millions and millions of people in just five of them. Talk about wealth in the US. Um, the top 1% of households owned 33% of all privately held wealth. The next 19%, in other words, from, from the 80th percentile to the 99th percentile, um, owned 51% of the wealth, which means 20% of the people owned 84% of the wealth, and that means there's only 16% left for the bottom 80%. Now, this is the original discovery that Vilfredo Pareto discovered way back in 1890 or something like that, when he discovered the Pareto principle. He's like, hmm, boy, this isn't fair. Well. That's like lesson numero uno, guess what? No, it's not all equal, it's not all fair, and th there's nothing you can do to fix that. All you can do is figure out what to do to make more, okay? So in the world today, you know, we have, you know, we have a billion people that live very, very well, and we have a billion people that live very badly, and we have the people in the middle, um, the best thing we can do for the people who live badly is to move everything up. We can't make everybody equal. That never works. Communism didn't work. I think everybody knows that. But what we can do is move everything in an upward direction. And the way you move everything in the upward direction is you move up and you make room for the person below you. That's how it works, okay? So I want everybody to move up and make room for somebody else. 
you know, I, I, want, I want you to get out of your miserable, pathetic, 100,000 pound a year business and be in a million pound a year business instead.